Yeah. What, baby? <laughs> Did you have dreams about froggies in the pond? I am froggy. What's a doggy? And a pontoon. And a doggy and a pontoon? Oh, no. I said doggy. A doggy and a boo? <gasps> a doggy and a pool? A ducky and a pool? <gasps> the doggy and a And the froggies. And froggies. Baby, baby. Yes. Can you say good morning? Good morning. Welcome to my daily routine as a two year old. Too. You want Cheerios and milk too? Okay. Do you want a banana or do you want strawberries? Right when Sydney wakes up, she pretty much demands breakfast right away. We do a cup of whole milk, and then she usually is begging me for some sort of food. We used to wait a little bit and let her drink her milk, but now she wakes up starving. So this morning, she had some Cheerios and milk and a side of strawberries. This does a big one. It is a big one. You take bites. I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back. Okay, baby. So apparently breakfast wasn't enough for her, so she's having a yogurt now, and it is 10 o'clock. You want to read books with Mommy? Okay. Wish that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a Mickey and his friends are going to an apple festival. Look around and find things they need for their trip to the farm. <gasps> Can you find the umbrella? <gasps> I do this side, Good job. Can you find the watering can? Uh, me and Heidi. You're so fast. Uh, me and Heidi. A typical morning in our house definitely looks like reading books. We read several books throughout the day, and some of her favorites right now are like the go and find ones, the essentially Where's Waldo books. So those have been super popular with my toddler currently. And then also she loves coloring and playing with stickers. So we've been doing this ever since she got this book for Easter, just coloring in the morning and playing with stickers and letting her independently play without any TV on has allowed her to sleep very well for nap time as well. All right, so Sydney is having some goldfish as a snack because we just got off the phone with <coughs> Mimi. We FaceTimed her for probably a half hour, and at Mimi's house we had goldfish, so she obviously had to have goldfish while talking to Mimi. So it's 11.50 right now, um, and we're gonna go down for a nap. She sometimes naps at 12, sometimes 12.30, 1 o'clock, but since we didn't have a nap yesterday, she's going down for an early nap today. Are you ready for, you want to go upstairs and read books and go take a nap? Okay, let's go. Dibble, dibble, dot. Dibble, dot. Tick, tock. Tick, tock. Boom, boom.
Splat. Splat. And last. And that is that. Good job. Now we're gonna turn off the light. Oh, okay. Put the baby away. Okay. Help. Our naptime routine is the same as the nighttime routine. She wants to say prayers in the rocking chair. She just likes when mommy holds her and we say our prayers. And it's so cute. She's been saying what she's thankful for and she throws in some mac and cheese and broccoli in there. It's so cute. Uh, nap time is anywhere between 12 and like one o'clock, depending on how late she wakes up in the morning. And lately she's been sleeping a decent amount. Probably about an hour and a half is her average nap time. So this day she ended up falling asleep around like 12 ish, 12, 15 probably. And then ended up sleeping for over just over two hours. I'm going to go somewhere because you're big today. Yeah, funny. We have a today. <laughs> no. well, we're yeah. not going to see Harper today, but sweetie. Okay, Erica. And Erica too. It's watchable. You're pretty much. Can you big Yeah, honey, we're not going to see Harper and Erica today. We saw them yesterday. Maybe in a little bit, okay? Maybe in a couple of days. I'm tired. You're still tired? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, So it's now 2.30 and she's going to have some lunch. I'm just doing some cottage cheese, avocado, and some whole grain, like multi-grain crackers. Now lunch totally depends on nap as well. Sometimes I feed her before she goes down and sometimes after. But because this morning she had snacked a bunch, I just decided to wait. You are using him muddy. Right. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Do you need help? Just do a big mess. Just do a big, oh, big one. Ha. I know head all day. I know head all day. You need a paper towel? Okay. No, I want I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time You are so fast. I run you round. Yeah. I run you round fast. It is 3.40 and Sydney wants a snack. So I guess it didn't matter that she had a late lunch. Um, she's going to have a pouch. Sydney, do you want green or purple? Green. So she's going to have this one. What is it? Pears, mango, spinach, and chia. Happy tot. Sydney loves pouches. And throw some uh, chia and spinach in there. 
It's an A in my book. It is my time. Cause I know what it's like to be broke. Danny. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Can you sit like a big girl for mama, please? Yeah, I am Thank on my you. way up. Okay. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing. Where are you, mommy? Where are you, mommy? I don't know. Where are you, Sydney? Hello? Hi. Peekaboo! Oh, your hands. <laughs> Mama just made an egg sandwich. I haven't eaten all day. Um, just haven't really had that big of an appetite. Okay. We gotta wait though, honey. It's hot. I need a test. You can have some eggs. What letter is this one? A. Good girl. Yeah, Mama just had vitamins. You can smell them. Oh, that's so good. What letter is this one? V. <laughs> good girl. We should start spelling now. We spelled Mama. M A M A. Mama. Oh. oh okay. We don't do any formal lessons in our house yet, but I definitely try to educate her on any chance that I get, whether it be letters, reading, pointing out, you know, colors and shapes and, you know, just refreshing on everything that she already knows, but keeping her brain working in different ways every single day. And I try to take her outside any chance I can. If it's not raining, we are going outside to play and burning off that steam before dinner. Come on, where are you? Don't mind that. Everything's about to come my way, and I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up, and I won't stop, I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop, it is my time. I know what it's like to be broke, yeah. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. While I cook dinner is typically when I allow Sydney to have some screen time. That way, you know, it, everything goes a little more smoothly. So tonight for dinner, we were having the super green spaghetti with some red marinara sauce and I sprinkled a little bit of cheese on there and peas. Spaghetti. From this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down. This is her third portion of spaghetti and like fourth helping of peas. I mean, her second and third and fourth helping of peas have only been like a spoonful, but she apparently is starving and typically at this time would be taking a bath. <laughs> so we are going to have to just kind of rush everything after dinner. Because it was a late night, I ended up skipping bath time. I typically give Sydney a bath every other night. I have been doing this forever, I feel like. Uh, but we skipped bath tonight just because it was a late evening. And Sydney sips on some of her whole milk while we unwind and get in pajamas. I do have a whole toddler nighttime routine that I will link down below that you can watch to see our bedtime routine. And then after that is when we go brush our teeth. Like when I 
nothing goes your way. So I'm just gonna let my sin. I like to have Sydney in bed at 7.30 at the latest. It just depends on her mood, whether I put her down at 7 or 7.30, but typically no later than 7.30. So tonight we went upstairs at 7.15 and then I read her two books and do our entire nighttime routine. Again, that will be linked down below if you're interested in knowing exactly what we do at nighttime. And then we say our prayers, do the same thing as nap time, and that is going to be it for Sydney's daily routine. I hope you guys found this helpful. I always get requests to do, you know, uh, basically a schedule on like what times we do naps and lunches and how does that all work. I like to stick to a nice kind of solid schedule but be flexible at the same time and Sydney does so well on the schedule. Her mood is great. Everything just seems to flow a little better for mommy and child. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.